All right, everybody. This is Jay Brown, Weekend Hooker, and we are on our new Eastward 2400 Seaward catamaran. She is powered by twin 200 horsepower Mercury V6s. These motors came out around 2015, 2016. They've been proving pretty good. This thing, so far we got almost four hours on her, and uh, she is a little rocket ship at any RPM. Much, much better than the 150s on this boat. So if you're looking at this boat, the 200s is definitely the way to go. As you can see, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the boat. Um, I do have the Armstrong bracket. Eastward is building their own bracket now. I'm not 100% sure if the Armstrong bracket is still gonna be available, but uh, their new bracket is pretty substantial. So you can see over here is the ladder. You see how the rigging tubes run down through the Armstrong bracket. One thing that I had Dave do, Dave East with Eastward Boats do for this boat is you can see this transom door. So this goes up. These are on tension hinges. And there you go. You can pull fish through, climb out onto the uh, swim platform, i.e. bracket. All right, close this back. So I'm doing that. The rod holders on the boat have all just been in my mind. I've got two stand-ups. I've got these in here so you can see we are trolling right now. Um, but you can see you've got two, two stand-ups here, back to back, and then have a 15 degree, and then a 30 degree there. Raw water wash down here on the side. I'm not gonna open up the bilges because it takes two hands to do that. I'll show you the back of the leaning post. Fifty gallon bait well live well. It drains directly down through the center of the boat. And it drains very, very quickly. Um, so I don't know if you can tell in the video, but on these boats you've got a lip here. It's a nice little two inch ish indention that all the water on the boat runs off and runs back through the uh, the drains there. It does a pretty good job of that too. So we got the Taco Marine captain's chairs. This is my beautiful wife, Christine. Say hello. Hi. You can get the LeBrocks. They look exactly the same. So we went minimalist with the rigging so far. Not 100% sure which way I'm going to go as far as radar. May put a hummingbird on it. I'm used to a hummingbird for freshwater. We do a lot of freshwater fishing. But as you can see, this is a 10-inch garment here. And this is the Mercury um, vessel view, which I believe is just a seven inch Simrad. Electronic throttles, hydraulic steering, ship shore radio. These seats, they do have the armrest and the bolsters do come down and they are very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. We went with the black canvas top throws a nice bunch of shade we're in Florida right now obviously and it's pretty hot so all right let's get up here to the front of the boat so you've got two hatches in the front on either side port and starboard and these are just big open storage areas they drain directly overboard they are not fiberglass they are your standard run-of-the-mill. Um, you can go to West Marine and replace them if you, if you bust them up. Anchor locker. I think it's a number 11. You probably put one just a couple sizes bigger in it. Definitely got to get some more road and chain. This is a massive, and I mean a massive fish box across the front. Everything in these boats are built with Kusa, so it's technically a uh, big Yeti cooler, but we get down here, you can see all the way across. Right now, we've just stored some temporary crap. You see, they drain, they do drain overboard. They don't drain onto the deck. 
so they do have gym lux nice latches and you can lock them and you can fit your trolling rod and reels in here for travel um, and then here's the ice box so this is also a massive massive ice box um, both drains on both sides you see down here so I'll step back a little bit we do have some lighting throughout the boat LED lighting throughout the boat I am 5'7 and that comes up just above my knee it's a very big ice box and that bag of ice is a half a bag of ice and it's been in there for about four hours now and hasn't melted yet like I said these are just big technically big coolers so on these boats they are more of a commercial design which is great because everything is really really easy to get to none of those common bolsters and everything else to tear and, and snaggy hooks and mahi flopping around and tearing stuff up so everything's really easy to get to it really easy for rigging um i don't know i like the simplicity of it okay so this is the center console so we just got a bunch of crap in there right now we'll do some kind of organizer here in the future uh, additional rig and string and then the back of everything and Garmin's Dave's team does a good job with the wiring have a three bank charger on this three batteries cranking battery for each motor and a house battery and then on the side of the console port side of the console you have your engine selector and your main circuit for the house power All right, so you do get a acrylic windshield with the boat. We do have spreader light front and rear. There's the antenna. I'll try and get up front here. Give you a little bit of an idea of the boat. Christine, step off to the side into the uh, the way, just to give an idea of how much room you have. So there's a pretty good amount of room on either side of the console. So, obviously she's brand new. Um, just breaking her in. We've, uh, we've not really put, well, maybe four hours on it so far, but uh, it runs really good. Um, I'm not gonna give any mile per gallon performance numbers just yet, because I want it to break in um and give you guys be able to do a video on just that and tell you what props we're running everything else so anyway hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to uh, pan back around and let you guys see the side here i guess if anybody was questioning what this is there you go Eastwood Boats, give Dave a call. He builds a bad 24 and an even better 30. Peace out.